Hi everybody! Today I'm going to show you how to make some pretty pendants out of your scrap glass that's just laying around your bench um, and shorts and stringers and I have this little bowl that I have all my little stringer ends, pieces of glass that flew off rods, um, etc. You just want to make sure your glass is clean. You can rinse it off in vinegar water or such to get it clean and all you do is take a ball of glass on the end of a rod and pick up all the scraps and every one of these pendants that you make with these scraps is going to be unique because you'll always pick up different pieces different colors etc I try to avoid putting um, blacks and maybe some other colors that uh, bleed pretty bad or you know they'll, they'll spread out and look yucky so I have mostly br bright colors in my scrap bowl here but you could just pick up as much as you want I'm going to get some more there because I want a little more yellow you can actually pick up a specific piece of uh, color if you need if you know that oh I think I need a little orange in this one or a little red in this one and you could actually pick up a piece and add it but it's whatever colors you want and what's great about this is that everyone is unique because you're going to be picking up different colors and they're going to be laying on differently and so after I get a mass of glass I'm going to grab it with my little tweezers there and I'm going to just twist it around so it's going to twist all those colors together and make a nice little pattern in there just a random color pattern and you can do a variety of different shapes to make a pendant out of this glass so the first thing I'm just going to show you some little examples but the first one if you let it just droop down a little bit you can have a nice twisted colored pendant and I could just put a bail on the end and have a nice little teardrop pendant so you could do that or um, what I'm going to show you next is I could flatten this teardrop and actually have a flattened disc pendant and so I could just leave it like this put a bail on it and it'd be a nice little flattened disc I could also put a big dollop of clear on the front and have a nice lens uh, showing through which would magnify those stripes underneath and have that as a pendant um, another thing you could do you could shape this into a heart if you wanted to but you can also just pull it out a little bit, taper it out, like so. And you can have like a little um, like upside down teardrop pendant. But what I like to do most with these, and it really helps with practicing getting the feel of the heat with glass too, is I'm going to flatten this out a little more and I'm going to pull it out into a twisty pendant. and. Um, you can make these um, longer and skinnier and they could be nice like icicles for Christmas ornaments but I just make little twisty pendants out of these and so you want to heat it all up more so at the top because it's thicker there but you want to heat it all up until it's movable not soupy though and you're going to start to twist and you twist as much or as little as you want and you pull out as you're twisting so you lengthen the piece until you have the twist you like and so I'm just gonna leave this one like this and I'm gonna melt off that holding rod that I had at the top and I'm gonna leave a little extra there because that's what I'm gonna use to make my bail and my favorite and I think for me anyways the easiest way to make a bail is actually using the little um, like Peter's tweezers that I have it seems like that's the quickest and easiest way for me but whatever way you like to make a bale it's fine you can also have you know a bead on a rod or on a mandrel that's in the kiln and you can attach the bead to this pendant also but of course then you have to clean it <laughs> and and I rather avoid having to clean all these pendants so I just make my bale at the end and I'm just shaping the hole now you want to try to get it as even as possible and then after I'm basically done shaping it I want to straighten it 
my little paddles there. Straighten it so your pendant is nice and straight. And I'm going to get one little shape to the hole and there you basically have your pendant. Now all I have to do is get it off that little stringer I'm holding it on and I just heat the very bottom and I twist it to finish the twist there at the bottom and pull it out to a nice tapered point. And there you have it, the finished pendant. Thanks for watching.